much better than Pat. Much better than Pat. No, that's what Pat would do. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. You're the best. Oh, that, I am. That's why I we am. have you here. <laughs> Lost the cast. Three fifty-seven with Chris McCarthy, Nancy, and Danielle Egger. D- I said that wrong. Yeah, no, that's, no right. that's good. Danielle. Yep. Daniel. Daniel. Yep. Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> that's wrong. That's wrong. Right. Right. Autocorrect. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Autocorrect. <laughs> Messed me up there for a little bit. Fran, uh, Fran White and Tom Mantle will be showing up. Heidi Dallin is here. Kim Smith is with us. Uh, I'm your host, Joey Shimataro. Did I mention you? No. no. Chris McCarthy is here. No, and Jimmy Dalpiaz is here. Yeah, thank God. Oh, He's back. Because we have someone to man the Facebook Camera. That's right. Yeah. Thanks for having us. This is Pat's job. I'm Pat's job. Yeah. Is Pat logging in? Is Pat, uh, Pat's Pat on, coming channel? on the way here? So. Oh, she's uh, on the way here. Hello, Paula. Is she there? Is she watching? There's Pat. She says, "Good morning, Gloucester." Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good morning, right. Gloucester. So and when we ha- when we only have either Pat or Jimmy, that means we don't have the lookout for people coming in the driveway. <laughs> we have we have the person to man the Facebook live feed, but we don't have the lookout. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count on Kim to do that. Kim. Jump up and uh-huh. No, just to look oh, down here people. and just to say you got someone coming. Kim, so let's I practice. can focus this way. We should I, practice. I, Kim, I let's do, say there's I someone there. every week. <laughs> what are you talking right. about? Shouldn't she practice right now? Let me see. Okay. Yeah. Pretend someone's, someone's coming down. down. What would you do? I'm, I'm focused over here. I just go like this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you got that. You don't even need to say a word. So we have probably the most amount of most generous, beautiful food that's ever been brought that's here right. from the new owners of Last Stop Variety that, uh, that showed up today for the podcast. And I let's let's I, yeah, I don't know if the candy can get it, but we're gonna go through what what do we have here? Um, we have turkey club sandwiches, ham and cheese, turkey with honey mustard, chicken salad. What is this? I've never seen this. That's, it's a, it's an apple crostata, but it has apple crisp topping on it. My kids made this up, and they made up a name for it and everything. Oh Does anyone want to try? Want to try, Chris? Oh, he's on. Uh, are there carbs? Are there carbs? Are there carbs? No, no carbs at all. A few carbs. Yeah, no matter what diet you're on. You yeah. We got some, we got some uh, fruit. Oh, there's fruit. 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 Yeah, Joe, use your fingers. Joe's fingers. Go ahead. Yeah. Quiche. No, no, it's quiche. quiche. Egg, egg sandwiches. sandwiches. What kind of cookies are these? Chocolate chip. Is it chocolate chip? Is Heidi's molasses? Yes, Heidi's. I love you have this. You to ask her before you touch it. Oh, uh, it's so good. sandwiches and wraps. What is it? Over there, the white wraps and sandwiches. And yeah. uh, bacon, egg, and cheese. Oh, that, uh, yeah, those yes. are wraps. Yep. There's wrap sandwiches and then this sandwich on Virgilio's bread. Oh. oh. Give a plug to Virgilio's because oh. it's oh. really good. And then um, what's this right here? That's a, like a toffee chip cookie. Oh. So when did you guys take over? In May. We bought it in April and then we, we opened in May. And um, so what it, what made you want to, what made, you guys both have full-time jobs? I did. You did. <laughs> so you're kind of running the place. Yeah, I, I, I've been a nurse for 34 years, and I just oh, was wow. I, I just tired, and I just needed to change. So yeah, um, this was we saw this for sale last September, and we we're like, should we do this? So wow, that's a we have no week. experience running a business. We but we have learned there's been a lot of people that have kind of helped us along the way. That's so. great. And I heard you're staying open like for when the start of the the, the Gloucester stage is there. And Heidi mentioned it last week how appreciative she was to be able to get your goods uh, for the patrons that, that go to the theater. Yeah, so we've been getting a few people. Last night was a little busier. But, um, yeah, on Friday and Saturday we stay open until 7, and Thursday we stay open until 5. Wow. Yeah, so Yeah, and it's awesome. great for our patrons who are, like, driving down from Boston and want something. And it's kind of the thing of getting the word out to let everybody know that, yes, yes you can, can depend get on food. getting a sandwich and, yeah. you know, because... We have the bar open at 6.30 at the theater, so you can get a sandwich and something to eat and come over and oh, sit outside, yeah. and and um, it's terrific. And I just felt like it was our little secret over there at the stage company. Like, we knew it was this great new thing, the new Last Stop, and everybody needs to know. The new <laughs> Last Stop. The Last Stop's been continually operating there. I mean, I'm, lo- I'm pretty old, and, it, and it's been operating <laughs> really? for a while. Yeah. Uh, so when you were a kid, it was there? The last stop has been there when I was a kid, yeah. Wow. It's so old that when... Columbus sailed. It, no. <laughs> Joe remembers it as first stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's how old it is. <laughs> no, but I mean, so so what was, so how did you, 
Did you keep a bunch of the, the favorites that, that they told you? These are some of the things that a lot of people like. Did, how did, yeah. did they guide you in the, into the transition? Or? Um, yeah, we, also um, I have the same baker that Sandy uh, had, um, Megan, so she's, and she's really good. So she was a huge help in kind of telling me what they had, nice. what worked, what didn't work. Yeah. Um, you know, and Sandy had helped us also. And then a few of the young women that worked there last summer came back, and they were also very really helpful, helpful, like oh, you know, college great. kids, and they were just—they were really good. They had good ideas, and um, so it was, kind of, it was fun. That's awesome. I mean, it's it's. Yeah. So we we spoke, we've been speaking about this a couple times yeah. about how so East Glo- the Shire we call it uh, <laughs> East Gloucester. <laughs> there's there's really are not a lot of options unless especially in the summer when you don't feel like going. When you don't want to go, when to you want, once you go over the hill, traffic, right? but you go over the hill, it's a whole right. different world out there. Yeah. And to, 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 for you guys to keep up this tradition, we're very thankful. We're grateful. Um, and very grateful <laughs> yeah. because it's. I mean, and so so if someone could have that and it not be great, and that would be not awesome. But to have a place that's great, <laughs> great right. and to service a neighborhood yeah. is people really need to support it because it's it's yeah. just you don't want to see that go away right. it's huge the so. neighbors have been super supportive because everybody a lot of people in the neighborhood came by before we were open to say hi introduce themselves mm-hmm. once we opened they came in even if they didn't buy anything they came in to just introduce yeah. themselves which it was really That's it made really us awesome. feel welcome right. yeah. it met a lot of people really uh, quickly so and it's a pretty special spot yeah we felt really supported which yeah. was, which was well, did you buy the whole building yeah are you guys living upstairs, or are you renting? Half time. Half time. Half time. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's great that you know you said you had another business and doing everything, and you kind of said, okay, I'm done. I'm going to go over and do something like that, and that's a big move and stuff. Yeah. So I, you know, hats off to you on that one. Yeah, Thank you. It is. Yeah. I've decided if I'm crazy or. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I'm telling you, when the baker calls in sick and I have to get up at four, it's like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure people, you know, they they can comment, but I'm sure they're looking at that right now, rich. Wishing they could just grab it. Yeah. I mean, even my wife wrote down, "Great, the one I miss." Look at yeah. <laughs> she just wrote that. But you, you know what's interesting is this seems to be a, a, a small little theme. You know, thinking of two sisters with Chris right. McCarthy. I, I right. don't know if you've met Chris McCarthy or one's two I, sisters. Well, I met their sister. Oh, the, the third sister. sister. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 The two yeah. sisters. Yeah. So she it, lives in Rocky it, Neck, it, so she came. It sounds oh. similar to her story, where you know she didn't have any experience running. A restaurant they purchased the, the two sisters so it's great to see the second it's a second individuals story. like yeah. yourself who have fallen in love with Gloucester and are moving here and trying to make uh, an impact in, in many ways so that's that's great that looks what, what are some of the things that that seem to be big-time sellers and like people like go crazy for the, that cobbler <laughs> Um, and, peach, and Megan the, the peach baker, blueberry cobbler. Yeah. yeah, Megan the baker said her grandmother used to make that for her all the time when she was a kid. She said, "Oh, this is the simplest thing," and she makes it all the time. And really, people love it. I've had like men like we. If I don't have it, they'll come Can back. I have some out of the oven. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any. <laughs> she's, she's been out sick, so I don't. But there's today. also Megan's another sick. Second. There's also. I'm not going to complain. With the amount of food you can, I'm not complaining. Yeah. I'm not going to complain. Yeah. 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 Do you want to check us out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have you that piece right there, the ones closest to you. You also did an apple walnut cobbler, too, a few times. See, I go over there, like, every day. And the apple walnut cobbler was good, and I bet it's the same so, kind of yeah, apple yeah. stuff on top there, yeah, so that would be really good. Oh, so. I had visions of an Italian wedding here where we all grab something and go, Hey, kiss it down here. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah. I felt like my people doing something. Oh, mm. oh lights out. It's it's the, is it the same crust? That's Joey on the, No, this is more of a pie. No, it's like a pie. The, um, oh. crumb. Is the crumb the same that's on the peach? No, cobbler? it's a total. I, I've oh. never made her peach cobbler, and this is something that I make. Oh. So it's um, this is Joey approved. It's Joey approved. Outrageous, yeah. Wow. So you gotta go. I can't believe you're eating that in front of me. Mm-hmm. Right, do you? Chris is doing a crazy you? diet. You're, you're he's lost. He's lost over fifteen pounds wow. in a couple of weeks. Congratulations! Three wow. weeks. Yeah. Wow. Totally That's unsustainable, awesome. but Such he looks good for now. Yeah. 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 will do that to you. It's a man thing. Even Ralph. Ralph enjoys yours on, and he just like you didn't tell me there was going to be a buffet. You know, Ralph is famous for this. He. He, he knows he has an open careful, invite. He's listening. I know. He, he knows he has an open invite, and now he's going to yell at us for not for saying that we didn't invite him. But he's not even here. He's down in Rhode Island. 
Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, he would. I'm sure he would have canceled his trip. His trip to the to the boat show yeah. to come here. Well, to bring home us. something nice, would you? <laughs> <laughs> something big. Unbelievable. <laughs> well, thank you guys for coming. Uh, Chris also brought. Uh, Chris brought uh, coffee rolls from uh, from Mom's Kitchen. Oh, yeah. Nice. Ooh, nice. Oh wow! Nice. Oh yeah, they're known for yeah. those coffee rolls. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Jimmy, yeah. Jimmy. I, oh. I stopped in one day and got um, oh. one, and it was so yeah. big. It was like it had like five people. Oh, you know so, good. Like we so good. So good. Yeah, yeah. Was, and oh, Jimmy, brought so a, Jimmy brought me a. Jimmy brought me a sesame bagel mm. uh, with uh, the walnut cranberry one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be, my diet is obviously <laughs> the opposite. <laughs> well, I also wanted to. But the thing is, wait, wait. I just want to say one thing. Jimmy, we don't have to go. You don't have to go across town now. All you have to do is go down. Oh, you got what time do you guys open on Sundays? Eight, eight o'clock. So, you, so oh, that, yeah. that's the, that's the new stop. We're going yeah. there. That's yeah. the new stop. Yeah. See, this is what happens. See, they come in, they do the right thing. How many times? We, we, so we 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 at least have to we have to keep a markings. Yeah. And we got to do at least ten shout outs to them for this beautiful yeah. buffet. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. And the quiche is really good too. Well, I get the quiche all the time. You do? That yeah. Quiche, yeah. That quiche looks amazing. Yeah. Because some people come in here and they want us to pimp their restaurant or something, <laughs> yeah. and they don't bring anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That doesn't so work. you know what happens? That doesn't work. They come in. We 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 give them lip service. <laughs> Yeah. And then yeah. never to be mentioned again. <laughs> but you guys just ensured that you will be mentioned multiple times. That was our goal. You have made it into the Hall goal. of Fame. Yeah. Yeah. Visit yeah. number yeah. one. Yeah. And you Hall guys are going to be open <laughs> yeah. in the fall, too, right? All through We'd the like season. To stay open. I'd like to stay open all year, but I don't know how January, February, and March will be. But we, we wanted to do more like pies for the holidays, cookies for Christmas. Um, Nice. Maybe prepared oh, foods that people That's can. Great. So listen to this right now. When you when you when the holiday comes up, yep. a week before or whatever, mm -hmm. yep. send me a little press release okay. saying that we're taking we're now taking orders for pies, yeah. and oh, I'll put okay. it on the blog for you. Oh, oh I appreciate that. Great. See great. what you I did here. Right. This, come, <laughs> this is going to come back to you. Believe me. I want other people to notice. Appreciate See that. how they take <laughs> care of me. All local businesses <laughs> feed us. Just I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We're starving artists. Just saying. We're starving artists, podcasters. <laughs> and they do gluten free and stuff too. Okay. So if anybody is like special oh, request, gluten free yeah. and yeah. crust. What is the purpose of the crustless quiche? Is that for people that, 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 that don't want no, the, the car? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. now come get the crustless quiche. Yeah. 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 Crustless quiche. More substance, well, you know less carbs. Yeah. They also have gift items. Crustless. Their shelves are filled with crushless. Nice gift items like. Make sure um, kitchen that. things and hostess gift items, tea towels and things like that. So it's not just food; they have oh, other things there as well. Yeah, you still yeah. selling stuff? Um, yeah, uh, not as much stuff, stuff but as, not as, as much. they had before, yeah. but yeah. we we do have some stuff. And yeah. um, we're yeah. planning to build a bathroom in there so that we could um, have more of events, cafe, but like like an open mic night or coffee. Oh wow! Or something nice. like that. Oh, because that's without a, great a bathroom, idea. we can't yeah. have like yeah. Wow, that's a great idea. Wow, it's gonna be like a community spot. That's what we would like. That's exactly what it's gonna be. That's our vision. That's our goal. Yeah. That's our goal. Oh. We're breaking news here. <laughs> not only, not only did they bring, <laughs> I gotta stop banging so people can hear. Yeah. You just we want you to feel comfortable there. We want you to feel comfortable there. Take a break out of your busy schedule. We want you to feel comfortable there. Just hang out. So if we have to sleep over, we can sleep over. Upstairs, just not yeah. the door. <laughs> <laughs> and they do, and they do smoothies too. And smoothies. and um and the staff is very. Um, is is very kind and great. They've hired great staff, and I'm saying that because they hired some youth acting workshop students. Nice, <laughs> so. <that's very> nice. <laughs> yeah, is there Wi Fi there? Yes, sir. Wi -Fi. Well, no, no, we don't have well, Wi Fi. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just let your wife I answer the questions, first. please. <laughs> That's what Heidi said. <laughs> I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. If, for, if, I, if it's a coffee shop, you got to have Wi-Fi. you got to have Wi-Fi, yeah. Uh, well, it's kind of a thing. Yeah. Joey, bathroom first. I speak life. No, I would say I alcohol life. first. No, no, no. <laughs> that, no, well, you come cordial. over to the theater for I'm that. So come over to get your food. Come yeah, over to the theater. The theater's not yeah, open. I'm not so big. Coffee and beans. You could get it done before. Maybe get a sugar, get sugar it, alcohol you know, license. There's, there's All those sugary. Like yeah, yeah. I think that's pretty easy. Yeah, I think that might be easier. Hold on, sir. I'll let you speak. I'm sorry. I'm promote. I'm trying to get alcohol. Alcohol. Okay. Ken, what were you going to say? Well, I was just going to say that um, 
was just saying that, that like Rick no? Artizoni does, he could install Wi-Fi th- in, in the coffee shop, right? I think any, does, they can it, do it too. Yeah. So it's yeah. just yeah. not on top yeah. of it. Yeah. But yeah, but, um, Rick does that kind of work. Yeah, yeah. We, we added three tables inside and a couple tables outside so people say. can sit down and I noticed not just that. grab and go. Like, yeah, yeah. Just to, you know, it looks more chill out, read the paper, look at your phone. Take a break. Go yeah. say hi to Larry Dahmer. Yeah. And people He's enjoy there 24 it. 7. Yeah. <laughs> people enjoy it. Well, Nate, Nate always works break. there. So, oh, our Nate. friend Nate. Yeah. Yes. Does he? Yes. So, so when Nate walks in, does has he gotten to the point where he hits his head on the on the <laughs> door? Yeah, he he house. I, I look up. I look up. I look up to him every day. Yeah. Yeah, I saw It's him a monster. Yeah. Yeah, and he's still, he still keeps growing. He's That's right. Growing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know. So, so um, did you guys see the blue lobster that got landed this week? Yes, I, I saw the, I saw your pictures of it. Look so I'm very movie. happy to say yeah. global okay. warming. So uh, due to global warming. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's, it's, yeah. No, it's actually from the nuclear power plant. Oh, that too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kim. What? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Seabrook? Seabrook, yeah. See the water. It's yeah. leftover from here, Seabrook. <laughs> there he is. Come on in. Sit, on, sit right down, buddy. Tom Mantle. Tom Mantle. Tom Mantle. Take a seat, but we're, we're recording. You're, be, you're okay. being recorded. Yeah, right be now. careful okay. what you say. Yeah. So th- I'm glad to say that I bought the lobster from the, from the company, and I called up the people at um, GM. Our Gloucester, institute. Our Gloucester, institute. Good morning, Gloucester Institute, <laughs> also known as... <laughs> Gloucester Marine Genomics <laughs> Institute. Too, right? And now I, so I donated originally, they told me I could tear off a leg. Because if I, one of the little legs, the little swimmerettes, yeah. they can get enough of a sample of the DNA oh, really? to, to do it. Oh, and, I, and I threw the, threw the other lobster back. Yeah. This one I donated the whole lobster. And I, I didn't t- keep track if the first one was a male or a female. Oh. But now they have two. But now they have two, the DNA of two blue lobsters, and they so there's six genes out of the whole DNA sequence that will that they can break down all of those things and determine what are the genes that cre- uh, cause it to be blue. Wow! Really? And if there's a wow. male and a female, eventually, maybe down the road they'll be able to create. Blue lobster. A whole blue lobster wow. thing. Wow. Jeez. And that'd be wow. wild. Could you imagine like some Japanese restaurants that like, you know, the people oh, right. oh, that yeah. like go crazy for oh. specific kind, types of food? Sure. Yeah. Did you like s- being able to have the market cornered on blue lobsters? Did right you here. sign a contract? Right here. No. Did you no. sign a contract? No, I like to support. To get royalties? I like to support those people. Yeah. 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 So They're doing good work. billions. You'll get. You should have brought me, Joe. I would have negotiated the contract. Next time I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna let you handle it. But they answered the phone. The main thing is that they answered the phone. Because in the past, I've had like white uh, albino lobsters or speckled lobsters, and I've called. I've called the uh, the New England Aquarium, and the girl that answered the phone, probably like a you know non-paid intern or something, um, while the. Well, while the directors are probably taking home two hundred fifty thousand, seven hundred fifty thousand dollars a year, the interns probably making zero. And she's like, "Ah, well, we don't really have anyone that can get up there right now, so I don't know. Maybe I don't know if we could get down there." So we just, so we get, so we get rid of. So, kids, uh, the so now is don't intern for no money. No, don't so, waste your time. No, but the G, the, G, the Gloucester uh, Ashley Destino came right over from Gloucester Marine oh, Genomics, she did. Yeah. and they got the blue lobster. She's so. awesome. She's awesome. She's the whole awesome. the whole. Is it lobster. true that you donated some of your DNA too, so they could do some studies of a, a, a lobster <laughs> owner? <laughs> wait, wait, wait no? they, what color would they come out though? <laughs> yeah, they'd come out with Joe's face on them. <laughs> that was a really <laughs> scary <laughs> lobster. <laughs> you gotta. <laughs> Those Japanese tourists would really love that. Really love that. Um, so I have, I've had, so this past week, in two, two unrelated instances, I've had two different lobstermen ask me for Chris McCarthy yeah. lobster spreadsheet updates. Oh, yes. that's wow. So, th- so it's funny. That's without any prompting from me. Right, the, so they're yeah. following his, and, and one of them called it a saga. <laughs> I have, what's yeah, the update on the saga? saga. Okay, so, Chris, so Chris, so to update you guys, yeah. Chris purchased 10 lobster traps and a recreational license yeah. in the beginning of the season. Yeah. Yeah. 
And we we put into a spreadsheet all of his costs, and every lobster that he catches, we keep track of. He's up to 25 lobsters on six hauls. And so we, div- we divided the money that he has into it into the per lobster. He's at $25 per lobster right now. That's oh, his yeah. cost. And his... Um, his um, lobster, uh, and he's got eight traps left out of the ten. Two. So he lost two. So at the end of the season, we're going to see how he made out. If he would have been better off just coming, going to cut Steve Connolly's or somewhere else <laughs> and buying the lobsters, as opposed, yeah. Yo, I wouldn't yeah. shop for lobster any place other than here. What are you talking about? You have, um, well, you have had a wonderful experience. I, I have. Right. Yes. So it's priceless. Almost got it's priceless. That's priceless. A times. You had a nice crew too. You talked about the yeah, crew. Yeah. Yeah. Brought on. my daughter out there with yeah, with uh, her right. friend yeah. and my my awesome. two boys and yeah. actually my my son took the boat out himself with a couple of his friends and pulled the traps. Oh, we didn't put the cost of a new prop on there either. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't from lobstering though, so I can't attribute that to lobster. I went up on the rock with the boat. My son took, took out the boat. Like, my son took out the boat with his friends and Joey goes, Oh, new prop. Yeah. Well that's what Is happened. That my yeah. wow, my son took out the boat with a bunch of his buddies. And three weeks later. Three weeks later I got a call. I I knew the prop was damaged because I saw it first hand. I'm like, hmm, how did that happen? My son calls me three weeks later. Oh, by the way, Dad, I, I think I uh, ruined the prop. Um, I forgot to tell you. I'm like, I know, Connor. I know you ruined it. Because I saw it firsthand. These kids these days. And the only reason why he made the call is because a friend of his who was on the boat reached out and said, did you talk to your dad about the prop? Do, do I owe you any money? Because they were going to pitch in and buy me a new prop. But I said, it, you know. These things happen. You didn't do it on purpose, so. Is a is a new propeller Good. very expensive? Is it very probably expensive? probably two hundred fifty bucks. Oh, no, it's gonna be Stainless more. Stainless steel ones are, and the black ones, I don't think. Oh, they're really? Not that much money. They better not be. Parenting. So Chris, Chris went to see. Uh, Chris went to see a lifespan of a fact. Have you seen it yet? Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Well, tremendous. I'll give both of you guys yeah, a tremendous. few few seconds to say something. Yeah, it, about. it was outstanding. I'm real. Yeah. This is my second show, and I've really enjoyed it. My wife has joined me for both of them and uh it's it's a great experience the actors were great on both shows but this one um it really got you thinking um i i posted something i wasn't kidding when we left my wife and i were looking at each other like really very thought provoking because i'm in sales so you know you, you try to take something like this and spin it in many different ways yeah. and you know that show got me thinking you know, how far do you go right. without uh, <laughs> crossing, crossing the line crossing or, the line. Yeah. you know, setting the, the wrong expectations. And uh, mm. it, it was it was neat. It was, yeah, it was very good... thought-provoking. Very thought-provoking. Yeah. I, you know, every show, Tom and I remark, like, like, you know, the show was fantastic in every way, but the acting at the Gloucester stage, yeah. it just, it brings everything so fully to life. I mean, it's just... It was Lindsay was amazing. Yeah. Um, Speedy. Yeah. <laughs> Speedy. Yeah. And so was the guy and Mickey who, and Mickey who played the Mickey Solis. Um, yeah. yeah. He, they were just phen- just off the charts. I thought really, yeah. it's just yeah. the way it, it is there. Really I mean, I, you you I don't know what you you guys do or how you manage this every show, yeah. but it's it's just amazing. Well, they, that's that's part of the that's part of Bob Walsh's job. Yeah. 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 Bob Walsh and then he hires really good directors who people really want to work with. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, and then we have the bonus of Lindsay Krause who loves to act here. So who would not want to yeah. be in a play right. with Lindsay Krause? With, with Lindsay. So you have a youth yeah. acting workshop uh, the, the the playwright young thing? Play- so the next generation the Young Playwrights Festival is Tuesday 7:30. It's free. And we have seven new plays written by seven young playwrights, all on the North Shore. Um, we have. Uh, what are their age ranges? Uh, age range, uh, age ranges from nine okay. to sixteen. Okay. And uh, the theme this year, we always do a theme with the Young Playwrights Festival, was uh, risking everything. Hmm. So that really gives the kids a lot to work with. Who are some of the kids that I would know? Ruby McElhaney. I just saw Ruby what? yesterday. 
She was doing a little fundraiser thing uh, with John uh, at the at the I don't know if it was a football game or something. She had very industrious. They were good. she was she was at Stop and Shop buying like cinnamon uh, donuts or whatever and oh, uh, and coffee, and they were going to resell it at the game. Wonderful. Good. Well, good. Ruby, very Ruby very has fun. a new play. Fun. Nate Oaks has a new play, which is really funny. Uh, he he's really good at writing comedy. Shocker, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, Nate Oaks, Ruby McElhaney, um Anya Lichtenwald, and Julia Drost. Which Anya, her parents are teachers, both teachers at Gloucester High School. And Julia Drost, her grandparents live right up the hill up mm. here. Um, he worked at Stop and Shop uh, uh, forever. Miller, Harry Miller. The meat cutter. Yeah, yeah. Right, right at the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, Julie, they're both amazing actresses, and uh, and the kids also have the option to direct their own plays as well. Wow! So, huge, um, great experience. Most of them are are directing. And then we have a couple of students who summer in Rockport and live in Winchester. It's the Camera Mary family. Their grandparents all live here, and uh, the oldest daughter, she's ten. She wrote a new. She wrote a new play. There you go. So that's that's Tuesday uh, at the Gloucester stage. You can get do, can you, you don't get, need, you can make a reservation just to make sure, but it's free. Oh, cool! So come, it's oh, free. I'd like so to go to that. everybody can come seven thirty. They're ten minute plays, so they go really fast. Awesome! And there's kids in them. There's some adult actors, some kids in them, and um, it really is great to see all this talent. And it's the next, it's oh, the oh, next generation. Creativity. What yeah. time does it start? Seven thirty. So get there at seven. Wait, wait, yep. wait. Yep, bar will be open for adults. <laughs> uh, so I have a question. I have a question for you. Okay. So every week, I put together the show notes, and then we do a little preview clip on Facebook, mm-hmm. and then I post it to to uh, Instagram mm-hmm. and to Twitter. And I always try to find you to tag you, but I can never find you. It's HJ. Are you t- are you doing? Well, you have me on Instagram. Oh, are you looking for me on Twitter and Facebook? Yeah. Are you not on there, or are no, you just I'm super not. private? No, I'm not on Twitter and Facebook. Okay, so I just are need to stop. It? You're gonna be like everyone else and tell me I have to be on. Well, all right. So this is how people find it: is we tag people and they share it. Yeah. And so your whole everybody that loves you. Presumably, the Gloucester Stage family would see the stuff that we're talking about and share it with their friends, that's why and then she's that's how it goes viral. All right, okay. I feel like there's, not there's enough, I feel right? like there's, I feel like there's no. demons. Well, they Are there demons? No, I, mean, for you, I think there's demons. I think, I think he's shaking his head. Yes, people, definitely people demons. Don't realize that how they're out there. How important Facebook is in Gloucester. Yeah, it's not in every town like this, but in Gloucester, yeah. especially for you. It's important. All right. Well, everyone who knows me now will be like, because a lot of people have told me I should include my Aunt Debbie, everybody that I should be on Facebook. I mean, it's just as far as marketing goes. And also, a lot of times, a lot of things automatically go to Facebook. Like, whenever we post something on Good Morning Morning Gloucester, Joey has it set up, so it automatically goes to the Facebook page. Yes. So we don't have to do anything. You know what I mean? And I take that extra step to to, to try. So, you know, the, the Youth Acting Workshop parents actually set up a Facebook page. Page for youth acting workshop parents. She's Katie Numero, thank you, Katie. She's starting to sweat. I know. Uh, I, like, I got her on the hot you're seat. You're putting right? me on the spot, well, Joey. Well, 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 we can tag that Facebook page. Because Facebook she's sitting next page. to me. <laughs> it could be. It could be. <laughs> Those 15 pounds. Woo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> you look skinny. <laughs> but now, why did guys lose 15 pounds right, in two it's, weeks? It's not even. <laughs> It's so unfair. I think yeah. it's very unfair. It's so unfair. Like my I don't think. No, it's my husband. I don't think that's accurate. No, it's no, my husband. Guys lose weight so easily. Yeah, exactly. Guys lose weight really easily. Yeah. If you, you, look look fa- you look fabulous. That's just a podcast that. topic. <laughs> uh, we went to uh, so Chris and Ralph, um, uh, Mickey and Steve Reed, and a bunch of other people. Thursday nights they go to Cape Ann Bowling. There's like a Kind of a league. Did you go? Couples to, league. Did you go? Couples did you league. Did you go? I, I didn't go to bowl, but I went there to support. But what I didn't realize is how much of a renovation they did at that place. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It looks completely different. Like when when, when, when Caitlin Pizzetti and I think Nick Pizzetti, I think her husband's name, I'm not yeah. sure. Uh, when they took it over, they had done some renovations. It's like every time I go in there, it's, a, it's like a whole new makeover. And I got a little mini tour of 
the brew pub that's going in, no. did you, did you it's video, coming did right you, along. No, no, because I told them You're gonna do a good one. I'm going to do a good one yeah. when it's closer. To, it's not really ready to be filmed, okay. yeah. but it's clo it's getting closer. And But like just in the regular part, uh, they replaced the rug. It's just like, it it's not kitschy anymore, oh, but it's yeah. cool right. and fun. It's a um, nice. great take, great nice. take. Yeah. Um, and they're going to have food there. They're going to have a little food, kitchen. Yeah. Nice, no, nice menu. Very nice, nice menu. Do you know what kind of thing? Pub, most no, important, pub, Chris? Pub pub alcohol. 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 <laughs> alcohol. 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 Are you seeing a theme here? <laughs> yeah. 9 30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I've had this thing lately where um, I've been, obs I've had this cooler obsession lately. Cool. <laughs> and I've, I've bought a uh -oh. bunch of coolers. Is it going to go into the, like, the grill? Is it going to develop The cooler is going to go into the grill? Are How you, would no, that work? Transition. Is it going to, like... So no, are you oh, going to oh, have no. all different no, 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 stacked no, up? No, 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 not like that. Kate work? But here's the... No, no. Well, I, well, I did get rid of a bunch of grills because I just keep accumulating them because right. I find good deals on grills and I just and then I, I gave Chris I gave Chris a, like a hundred dollar uh, uh, cooler. It's a big marine cooler, oh, like wow. big white one for his boat. So when we go out there, right. we can have the, the beer in it. But like this whole I yet, <laughs> this I did oh, cost me a hundred bucks. <laughs> no, I got a good deal yeah. and I pass it on. But so the the thing of it is, is this whole yeti craze. Yeah. We talk about Yetis every week, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. I'm obsessed with these That's Yeti coolers, but Yetis. but but the tumblers are, are 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 worth worth the money because they are phenomenal. But the coolers, if you look at the a Yeti cooler, right? A, a Yeti cooler that's that's okay. So I'm going to say three feet by a foot and a half or whatever. Yeah. Hmm. The the insulation on it is like four inches thick all the way around, so you can barely put. A couple of six packs in it, oh. even though it, it keeps the, the stuff really cold. How long do you really need a cooler to keep the the, the thing cold? More than a, over a day or two. Right. Same. And I have found in a, a decent igloo cooler that costs a third of the price, they'll adequately keep ice for a couple of days. Oh well, that's wow. that's pretty. That's a lot. But I still obsess and go and look for sales on Yetis, knowing all of this, like, and I can't. Well, I, like no, Weber. because the Weber is still a value, and it does produce uh, on the, on the oh, as level yeah, as good as anything I see, else. I see what you're saying. But it's actually the inverse. The Weber is a tremendous value compared to like some of these fancier grills. You're right. Uh, so I just can't figure out why I keep coming back and looking. I think the latest one is because I want a I want a boat cooler Maybe, that has a cushion on the top. Oh, oh, those are nice. Are GMGI. the Yeti ones sleek looking? What do they look like? Are they better looking than the, the Yeti better. ones? Yeah, are they better looking. They're like a hard plastic mold, molded. Um, it's just I don't know. I think it's just a totally. Um, it's just a, a name brand thing that's it's it's freaking me out. Um, the so maybe GMGI when they test your. Um, your uh, blue lobster DNA. DNA. They'll, My DNA. They'll know or can figure out why you have such an obsession. So it's cool. It's <laughs> I was predisposed. <laughs> Maybe. I was Maybe. predisposed to have a Yeti cooler. Before, them, yeah. when I was born, they didn't even invent Yeti coolers, <laughs> but that could be a thing. They so, sold them at first well, stop. I, I, speaking of <laughs> first stop. Speaking of that. <laughs> speaking of first stop. <laughs> That's true. Speaking of gadgets and things, I want right to ask a question to everybody. What um, I need to make brewed coffee, not drip coffee, not, uh, not brewed coffee. Yeah, I need brewed coffee. I mm. need to, a brewed coffee maker. Who? What are people's recommendations for that? Because I'm, I'm lo I looked online and there Cuisinart. are so many to choose from. Cuisinart. Cuisinart. You like that one? Yeah. Yeah. I don't have a good. Because uh, you you use the French press or you use. I use the, the drip. The drip. The one yeah. that, the one that you yeah. got me broke, but I got one similar, yeah. and I swear. GMGI I, can help you with that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joey, um, Paula, Paula Ryan O'Brien wants you to know that first of all, she's been obsessed with coolers for years, but Yeti has a soft-sided cooler too. Yes. She has one. I have one too. Oh. I know they have. A, yeah, but I, I don't. And and what you'll notice with Yeti is they got like the Yeti Eight, the Yeti Ten, the Yeti Thirty, which equates to how many 
Cans beverages oh, okay. you can put so you can Oh, is that what it means? Yes. Oh. I thought it was liters or quarts. No. no. That's that oh. gives you an indication of how many beers, oh. like 16-ounce beers, beers you can put in there? Uh, I don't know. They might base it on 12 wow. ounces, not oh. 16. Well, that's good. That's good information. No. Yeah. yeah. Other coolers are, uh, other cooler companies are doing it too. Are doing that? Oh. That's interesting. That's interesting. Mm. The Patriots are playing the Dolphins today. I just quickly we're gonna go around the room. The spread is eight the Patriots are getting eighteen and a half points. Well, who do you got? Dolphins. <laughs> huh? I'll pay Dolphins on the points. Dolphins on the points. Wait, I gotta write all this down. Wow. I'm gonna write I'm gonna write wow. all this down. Wow. Everything? Bold move. Huh? Bold um, move, Mr. Mano. Tom Mano. Yeah, I think this Mano. Is one of the Dolphins. I just I'm not impressed with the Patriots this year. Dolphins plus 18 and a half. Okay, Chris. I'm going to say Dolphins win the entire game. Outright. Last minute with, uh, with six See, seconds you're taking them straight. The you're taking the money line. Yeah. Chris McCarthy, Dolphins. Right. My prediction is that Miami It's scores. a lot of money. You could win a lot of money on that bet. You could. Chances are you're going to lose, but okay. Uh, <laughs> Eve, uh, money line. Okay. Fran. Fran. I know, Fran. Patriots. France taking Patriots minus the points. Yeah. Patriots. Okay, Heidi, Patriots. Patriots by six. I'm going to have to go with the Patriots. Okay. Yeah. Patriots. By six, I would say. <laughs> the Patriots. Patriots plus the points. Minus the points. Minus the points. Sorry. Hope okay. is on Australia. Jimmy? Patriots. <laughs> Patriots. Okay. Patriots. <laughs> okay. <laughs> God, they always they, they, we, we've, we have lost. So the Patriots, just to give you a little background, the Patriots have lost four of five of the last five down in in Miami. Right. And the game is in Miami. They're due today. I'm They're gonna, due. They are they are due, and they have the weapons. And Miami is an absolute disaster. I'm taking That's the Patriots. Correct. They have a new weapon. I'm ready for this one. Now I'll go around the room and find out how many Miami players are going to walk out at halftime and want a new job. Oh, well, they, uh, walk uh, out. Who's the Miami he, coach now. That's what happened. I don't know. Adam Gase is the, the the former the former uh, the former coach last year's coach of Miami is now the head coach of the Jets. Adam uh, Gase. Adam Crazy Eyes Gase. In the press conference, his eyes were. He was, he was just the oh, most bizarre thing bizarre. you'd ever want to see. Wow. Yeah. All right, so we got that out of the way. So, Jimmy, I have a question for you. Uh-oh. Uh, people want to know, why is Pat driving a rental car? That's a nice thing. Um, what's happening is the little <laughs> blue car that we have, it's a Ford product, and they had a major recall on the transmission because the transmission uh, slips, oh, what have you. Yeah. Oh. So we're lucky enough up here for a lot of different things, but there's a Ford dealer over in Ipswich, and it's close enough. So we got the car, we kind of crawled it over there and got it there, and we had to um, get another car because Pat's got to get out there and do everything else. So we went to Enterprise, I'm sorry for dropping names, but it's right here in Gloucester, and they really do pick you up like the commercial yep. says. Ah, so, that's a nice thing. So <laughs> she's got the car, and she's yeah. riding around with that, and the car is... It's been about a week, but they got everything fixed. So um, that's why she's driving around with the car. Mm-hmm. And she really likes it, and I know you do too, Joey, because it's not the little one. It's a little bit bigger size. A little bit bigger. Okay. I just want to make sure. Uh, Kim, kudos to you for your har- your full harvest moon, pi- moon oh. pictures. Oh, yeah. It's a big hit on the blog. Yes, Huge yes. hit. But you said that it was kind of a, a – in your post, you had written that it was almost like by accident. Oh, it, yeah, because um, – so I was down at the breakwater. Well, I was down at Eastern Point, and then I said, oh, well, I'll just stay a little while longer because the moon's going to come up. And in, on your phone, you have a, um, a compass, and it said it was coming up at 102 degrees. So if you stood right on the bar- breakwater, that would be somewhere within the vicinity of the lighthouse. So it's just kind of keeping my fingers crossed that it would come up behind the lighthouse, but mm. it didn't. It came up between the ugly tower and that <laughs> rickety house. <laughs> so how did you get the schooner in the shot if you were by the lighthouse? Oh, so then I just jumped in my, so then when oh. it didn't, you know, when it didn't work out, so the, um, so then um, I came back, you know, via Rocky Neck and stuff like that, so. She went down to the, the, the yes. railways? Yeah. And so then, um, but 
anyways, I met the nicest people. They live on Rocky Neck. Um, Jim and Kathleen, she exhibits at Gallery 53, mm. and we were like weaving our compasses together, but it was very, um, it was beautiful to see it coming up on the breakwater. It was mm. spectacular, but yeah. it just wasn't in the right place. The so weather, the wet, the, 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 there's been, with right. the full moons have yeah. been spectacular. So spectacular. So I realized if that's, if that was 102 degrees and it wasn't in the right place, like a couple of days earlier, it had been coming up at 113 degrees. So that would be closer to behind the lighthouse, I think. So now I know to keep. Now I know what to, the plus or minus vari yeah, variation yes, is. Yeah, what you I need to add. Yeah. Now I need to know. Like now I can. Now I know when it will be closer to the lighthouse. Ah, so, cool. Yeah. So. Ah, so you have it all dialed in. <laughs> yeah. Don't share those. Those are like secrets. You don't. Well, don't share those secrets. Nobody's, nobody's going to remember that in, ah, in two months from now. People are interested. <laughs> Did they have the thing? Was it this weekend that they had the uh, the show at at the railways, the art show at the railways, or is that coming up? I think that's coming up. I don't think I don't think it's this weekend. Is it this twenty first? It's the twenty first. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's next weekend. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I wanted to do that. Uh, Chris Chris went on a tour for Blackened Fish <laughs> this past week. He had Blackened Fish at a couple different places. I did. Oh, really? I did. That's yeah. Not not on purpose, but because of this diet. I'm on. I'm yeah. limited in what I I can eat, so I've been eating steak healthy. and yeah. fish, and fish. You know, I, I like the flavor, and I haven't been a big blackened fish fan or blackened anything. And uh, we went to Yella. Yeah. Um, I had the the blackened haddock because mm -hmm. they have this dish. Um, they don't. It's 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 like a daily fish, depending on what's fresh and, and local. And when I went there, it happened to be haddock. And the spices they put on that were, wow. were outrageous. Um, my wife. They, everything they make at Yellow. Oh, it's, it was it's a great dining, another it's great dining experience. Yeah. They, uh, my wife had the the sirloin, sirloin mm -hmm. um, twenty two ounces or something. It was twenty ounces. She didn't eat all of it. Wow. At the record show, she didn't eat all of it. <laughs> uh, but they put some outrageous spices on that too, and it was, and was grilled to perfection. Wow. Um, you, and then, did you sit outside? It's, it's no, so beautiful. no, because we went Saturday, and it was you know yeah, a little yeah. chilly out, so yeah. we just opted to sit inside. And then we went to Lobster Land last night and uh, got the blackened haddock. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, I got the blackened swordfish. My wife got the blackened haddock, yeah. and they were both outstanding. Uh, I mean, outrageous. Mm. I mean, I don't, I don't think I've ever had blackened mm. swordfish, swordfish. Mm. and it was. It was outstanding. So highly recommended um, when you visit both of those uh, establishments. Yeah. There you I, go. I love the lobster Fra Diablo that they have at Lobster. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's real good. I'm a big Fra Diablo guy. Yeah, try it. It's good. I'm going to have to go there for that. Yeah, it's good. Ralph, Thanks for the recommendation. Ralph to cook us Fra Diablo. Ralph's been, he's been he threatening to make anything. it for a while. Oh. Yeah, he, hasn't, he hasn't cooked us anything in a while. I'm looking. You know what I'm looking forward to? I'm looking forward to, to the, having the projector in the backyard and watch yeah. the Patriots game. Yeah. With the uh, fire pit. When's that? Like we did for the Bruins. Huh? Nice. That'd be nice. I know. We gotta look at this, Jimmy. You gotta look at the schedule. Give me. A, give me an update. <laughs> uh, I'm playing at one o'clock for the next three weeks. Oh, what's that? The, the Patriots are playing at one o'clock in the afternoon for the next three weeks. For the next three weeks in a row. Yeah. Dang it. Dang. That's not gonna work for the projector. Chris Pat, <laughs> my wife says. Absolutely agree. The blackened haddock at Lobster Land is very tasty. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Thanks for the input, Pat. Uh, <laughs> I have a blackened halibut at the Saltwater Grill. Oh. Uh, oh yeah. Over it was a special over Parmesan risotto. Oh, oh that wow. sounds ridiculous. Wow, that sounds it was really good. good. What a good oh, wow. combination. Really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Saltwater Grill. He yeah. just got. He just. He just hooked me right there. Yeah. He just totally hooked me. Right. Tom Andel just totally hooked me on that. One. I'm. I, I'm not. Yeah. We. We. Yeah. Chris and I went like a week or two after it opened. We love. Yeah. And I haven't been back. This is, I've been here where, a few times. You have. Well, you go out for. You, 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 you don't cook the house. It's, close, it's the closest bar to North Gloucester. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, there, you, there you go. No, it's it's, open, that place is great. No, you got to close. He's going to close in January, I think, yeah. or maybe February, too, but it'll be open pretty much all through the fall. All through the fall. Oh, that's a good time. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> We're so filthy with great restaurants. Yeah. It's, it's challenging. I love sometimes. it. Restaurants and then the music, too. I know you posted something. We made a pact. Joking. We made a pact. Chris and I, Chris, our wives, we all made a pact yeah. that we're going to, we're going to, uh, we're going to seek out 
And now that our kids are getting a little older, yeah, nice. and we're going to go and do live, <laughs> live more live music. music. Live music, yeah. yeah. Nice. What a great segue. Oh, live music. music. Yeah, here we go, live music. <laughs> wow, look at you. <laughs> no wonder you run this. No wonder you run this. No wonder Chris runs everything. Hey, can we, Jimmy, put this in front of the... Jimmy's pissed. I thought Jimmy, Jimmy's like, no, I am. Look at him, he's running the camera. So we have Fran and Tom here from Cape Ann Symphony. And we have uh, oh classics and the movies. Yeah. Oh, E. T. I could, I, I know right uh, no now. E. T. E. No, no E. T. No E. T. We're gonna broaden your okay, horizons. Where, Williams. Where, Fran, pull, pull in here pull so, in, so we can hear you. So who do we got? Fran, are you one of the opera singers? Oh yeah, that's me. I yes. sing all the time. <laughs> I brought the music sheet. Um, so it's gonna start out with the uh, the ride of the Valkyries. You know, from dun, 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 dun. exactly. Yes, a <laughs> music guy uh, right here. Let's see if Jim. Let's see if Jim knows everything. Oh yeah, 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 Jim. Jim, he's gonna say it, oh, yeah. and you you hum the bars. Yeah. Oh, I love this. I love this. Do it, Jim. Do it. Jim. Jim. Don't take the bet. You're gonna lose. No, he's a he's a he's a, he's a music teacher. Yeah. yeah. All right. So the ride of the Valkyries, which was in Apocalypse Now, you know, uh, Robert Duvall. Um, hmm. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it smells like victory. <laughs> um, and then uh, the Lieutenant Kiji Suite. Hold on a second. Um, you could have anything. I, I wouldn't it. know the difference. I, I, no. I <laughs> think he knows it. I, I played it. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Not getting it. Pass. Okay. Uh, I pass. Pass. Okay. Give him the composer. So, so, okay, so it's Prokofiev. Yeah. And it's from a it's from a Russian movie that was made in 1934 in the Soviet Union. Prokofiev was in Paris. He wanted to go back to his homeland. He was invited back. He did the score for this, and it's about a Russian folktale that has to do with the Tsar and an imposter. And Lieutenant Kiji is the imposter, but so it's from a 1934 movie. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah. Then there is one, two, three, four, five, six selections from the Ben Hur Suite by a Czech composer named Milos Rosha. Um, and it's the prelude, the love theme, the burning desert, uh, mother's love, the rowing of the galley slaves, and the that. parade of the charioteers. Any of those? A parade. I love that we got oh. him. I love him. Yeah, um, come on. No. Right, no. Now his, his, right now his nut sack is tightening up <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> As we speak. It's not the nutsack. The, the sphincter? Yeah. Because I know the I'm working hard. The balloon knot. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Give it to us, Jimmy. Give it to us. It's also, it's a, and, then, and then there's, uh, a, there's a, um, a suite from a movie that was made in 1938 with Errol Flynn and Olivia de Havilland, Robin Hood. It's Eric Korngold's Robin Hood suite. And it was the score from the movie. No, uh, he, he's no. A very he told you not to take the bet, yeah. Jim, and you still took it anyway. That means you have you have to replicate all this food this next week for the podcast. Good. The last two are easy. Oh, yeah. here we go. The last two are easy. Okay. Here we go. Uh, no John, pressure. Two John Williams, Star Wars. Oh, yeah. I can. Uh, I bet McCarthy could do that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's the. That's yeah. I know that one. That's Darth yeah. Vader. Yeah. And then it's uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Three. Hey, you, 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 I think you went fifty percent. <laughs> no, fifty. That was I wanted yeah. ten. Yeah. No. My my favorite movie of all time is Lawrence of Arabia, and I wanted mm. to get that music, but we just couldn't get it. We either couldn't get it, or it was too expensive. One of the two. Ah. But that's that's. You, know, you ever watch that movie? You're gonna pay. Huh? We have to pay for that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. This 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 set of music here costs about sixty two hundred bucks. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, you don't just get That's it. That's incredible. Yeah. What, what happens That's if you That's why you this, all have to come to the well, concert. Well, 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 we we can't. We're we 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 professional. We have to rent it, <laughs> and then there's performance fees. We own a lot of music, and the music we own, we don't. We obviously don't pay for. But uh, when you have to get stuff like this, you have to rent it from a, from the folks who have the rights for it, mm -hmm. either BMI or ASCAP, and then sometimes there are performance fees associated with uh, West Side Story, all the Bernstein stuff is, is like that. You not only wow. have to we did that pay to year. get the music, then you have to pay for every time you play it. Disney. So so when the kids do the plays at uh, O'Malley, they have to pay. They, so have to pay. when I go in, they, 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 they so they invite me. 
They invite me to, to, to the pre, you know, when they're doing the previews yeah. to, to pimp it for them. And they, no, and then they say, do not. Take pictures. Don't take, no, you can take pictures. Right. You, you can't, can't have you any can video any of the right. performance yeah. because they can get totally yeah, yeah. It yanked yeah, out yeah. from underneath them. Yeah, yeah there's, there's actually, well, people's job is to go out there and if they read or hear that this is being performed somewhere, they actually, like, uh, Make sure. spy yeah. on it. Yeah. So then they go and say, uh, they owe you this. And they send it. It's like a bounty thing. Really? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, and the same saying, music is not free. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and it's no. the same thing with theater. We can't, the lifespan of a fact, all the 39 steps. Pay the we you play, pay, we the pay for the rights. And then we, a percentage of each time we perform it goes back. And, you know, and it's professional actors, like professional musicians mm. and all so of some, that. Sometimes I take a bit, so we're at events. And I take videos yeah. of, of these events. Just, a, just a, for an example, barbecue competition with Craig yeah. uh, that we went to. I took but this video, co- uh, taking the whole thing. I, I uploaded it to YouTube. Now, there's a DJ in the background. And literally, I'm a, any of the clips that I did, uh, it was, there's probably 30 clips put together to make this one video. It might have been like a five-second sample. But they have an algorithm like they 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 scan your videos when they go up there and they send you a cease and desist into your yeah, yeah. to your and they'll they'll pull or shut that. down your oh, yeah, YouTube right. account yeah. wow. and and my YouTube account I have probably 2000 yeah. videos on there and I could lose all the, my rights to share any of the stuff that I have my content did that's that up there. Did that happen with the barbecue one? It right? did. It did. Because I had to take DJ? it off. So I took the I had to take it off. And luckily, we pay for unlimited hosting on on Good Morning Gloucester, which costs a lot of money. But but we ha- we can post unlimited co- amount of content, and we can a- upload videos to WordPress to share. Their play the the WordPress player is not as smooth, uh, and and mm-hmm. it's a uh, as YouTube's play, and player is. Yeah. So that's why I like to use YouTube. Um, and we also invite it's, you to attend more, the concert. It's also yeah. more searchable. But so, did you get a black mark against you? Did they give you? I a black mark? I, I didn't because um, immediately when I saw the email come in, it says you know it gives you an opportunity to correct it. Yeah. I just I delete the video. Yeah, right. I like yeah. I don't even want it out there. Right. I don't even right. the, the right. chance of my right. YouTube account going down. Right. Right. Yeah, like that's a lot. Up. That's that's probably Yo, a year of my so life. Do you want to come symphony to a concert? folks want to talk symphony. Yeah, yeah, you, you want to post a, a video online? I want to see. I want, this this might be the one that gets me. Okay, let us know. We'll Saturday, give you Saturday night because the Patriots play on one o'clock on Sunday. Sunday. Smart. So we'll so comp you a ticket. Let us know. Manchester. These guys are fantastic. Let us know and we'll have and a ticket waiting for you. Video. It's like you it can would, take video. And yeah. with the theater and everything, the actors union has a thing. You know, you can have a you can take video, but it can't be for more than a certain amount of time and things like that. Not as long a whole as you don't scene. Selling it right. or anything like that. And as that. long as you're not selling it. So you it. could post it on YouTube. Yeah. So, so yeah. how much yeah. how much does it cost to go to this thing? Um, for you, forty three dollars. <laughs> adults are forty three? Forty three. Yeah. For forty three for adults, thirty eight for seniors. Thirty eight for seniors. What's the cut off? And seniors. kids are kids are kids fifteen. Are 15. Students 15. are fifteen uh, kids are five, I think. Kids yeah. are five and, and students are fifteen. 15. I gotcha. Very good. Okay. It's, it's, a get, good it's nice. It's very good price, and it's nice that you can get young people in, uh, interested in this. Well, concept. this year is the first year we're ever going to have, and we're sponsoring a youth concert. Oh. I mean, co- co- competition. 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 We've always had a youth concert. Competition. We're having a youth competition throughout the North Shore, and we're asking talented kids to come in and audition. They'll get a chance to play and work with Dr. Eridiwichi. And he, they will play at the Christmas concert, the holiday party. Oh, oh very cool. Cool. So we're looking for kids to audition we'll and like send us a tape, um, violin, every any instrument other than piano. So you, so you can see this. It's going to be in two different locations: Manchester and, and Ipswich. Ipswich. Manchester, September twenty eighth at seven. Oh, Saturday, September twenty eighth at seven thirty. Ipswich, Sunday, September 29th at two p.m. So two different. Uh, Two different, different places. Yeah. We have eight performances this year. So I'm not, I'm not the rest of the season is on this on this side. on the back on, on the this back. on this flyer. So I'm not familiar with the symphony. Is it so? Just quickly explain the, symphony the group. The symphony is a full size professional symphony. 
our, our maestro, Yuichi Yugabawa, has been with us for 20 years this year. It's our 20th season. This, this is, is his 20th, 20th season. season with the um, Cape Ann. Um, he's a brilliant musician. Um, we hire the top musicians. We just got a new concert master, David Rubin, a young concert master um, who is bringing to the orchestra new talents and enthusiasm, and we're really excited about his joining the orchestra. And the concert master is always the first violin. Right. So he's the he's principal, the first, first violin. violinist. And he is uh -huh. uh, joining us this year. We had auditions for that, and we, uh, I think we auditioned something like five to yeah. seven people, yeah. and um, David Rubin was chosen. He's relatively young. He's got to be in his 30s. Very well accomplished. Brilliant, so it's Brilliant move getting the young guy in uh, there. New blood. Good, exciting. That's true. Our concert master previously retired after... Alan Collier? Uh, Must have been 40 30, years. 40 years. Wow. wow. Yeah. And so did he, he get a gold, Did you give him a gold uh, watch on his way out? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, 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 we, we gave, gave him, him a, a, a monetary award. We also named That's the second violin, the principal second violin chair after him. Oh, that's so awesome. he he uh, he sits in the the first violin is the Sam Gordon chair, the Helen Gordon chair is I think the principal horn, and now the second violin is the Alan Hollywood chair. So that's the, a way of honoring uh, folks. And the Gordons founded the symphony, so that was kbandsymphony.org. That's yep. where you can find more information. Yeah, yeah. Kids, send in auditions for the youth contest. Yeah, because you can work with a fully yeah. professional orchestra. You, how many kids get an opportunity to do right. that? I was reading about it. Sounds wonderful. Yeah, yeah. So I really have a question about get the, to um, the uh, student audition um, contest. The, the contest. There's obviously you have audition requirements. We do, and, and you can find, find those on our website, kbandsymphony.org. Right. I'm right about that. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> exactly right. Uh, they need to do a, a, a tape. They need to send, send in a, us tape. a tape. Oh, send a tape. Yeah, yeah. And and then, a video. The tape yeah. should be reviewed. And then we'll have an audition. Then, then it, the, Live uh, audition. The, the panel, which includes Yoichi and several of the musicians, and a board member is a professional pianist, uh, they will review those and do a select, a down select, and then they will have, uh, you know, in place, I think, blind auditions so that they can. Uh, so we'll and how long, what's the time period for that? Uh, they have the to send the audition in by September 30th. Ooh, that's coming up. It's yeah. coming in close yeah. because we have to be prepared for the Holiday Pops concert, and that's November that's 30th. That's Thanksgiving weekend. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we need the tapes now. We're really anxious to get a lot of kids from Cape Ann and around the North Shore to take advantage of this. It's really exciting. It's a great opportunity. Sure. It, I have to say, it was also sponsored by... Dr. Ed, Ed Marsh and his wife, and um, we are very thankful for him for he donated he's donated ten thousand dollars to support this new program. Oh, that's mm -hmm. tremendous! So we're really excited about it. So we hope it's something we can do every year. Sure. Um, and this will be our first year, and we'll see how we do. Where's the holiday? Concert okay. in, oh, in okay. both in Ipswich and in yes. Manchester. Oh, so yeah, two in location. Manchester. Two in okay. Manchester uh, on okay. six, um, and. Because they use the theater at the Manchester High School yeah, and yeah. the theater beautiful. at the Ipswich High School. Have you been to either one, Chris? They're beautiful. I don't think I have. Oh, God, they're yeah. gorgeous. Really? You should come. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. Really We are gorgeous. somewhat limited. People say, why didn't we play? We are going to do a concert this year. We have Music Unleashed, and we will in February have a concert at Shaolin Lu. But oh, nice. we can't yeah. do a full symphony there because that stage will not hold a full they symphony. Yeah, yeah. They won't. It's okay. much too small okay. a stage to hold a full But the Holiday yeah. Pops is fun, Chris. There's it's a no, yeah. the yeah. Cape Ann Symphony Chorus is there. Oh, yeah. Cool. And they're all look do you sing? You know, they're having I auditions do. now. I do. Yeah, you, you sing? sing? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Come yeah. on. Consider it. Chris. Yeah. 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 Do you know your friend Chris can sing? Oh, he can sing. Yeah. Chris is Why don't you do your rendition of I want you to reenact the scene with Chevy Chase oh at the t at the examination table when the doctor comes up behind him. But blue, ri what is it? Blue River. <laughs> Go ahead, give it to me. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's hear. It. He's so talented. He's you can't. I'm shy. I'm shy. I get. Shy. I'm. I'm but much better should. in front of ten thousand people. You know like what? Well, good. They can't Chris, do these small right. shows. Well, definitely you good. You can film that. And I, send I need to wear my glasses, then I can sing. <laughs> like every so other. So Wendy Betts is the choral director, and 
they have should, you know, right the, now. Oh, that's Mookie's long lost sister. Uh, <laughs> no, I think that's Hank's brother. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, that's Hank's brother. Yeah, <laughs> Hank Betts is on our board. So. Oh, so, oh, the different different pets, yeah, different, different pets, different clan. But no, they are they are they are putting together the chorus now. So uh, so Chris, we, we have a spot for you. Yeah, we do have a spot for you. Come on, it's a lot of fun. Hey, <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> get no, I'm off today. That's been a diet. I think I lost some weight in my larynx. There you go. <laughs> well, there but you that's mean. a great family thing with you and the kids well, so and the you know. They're in you yeah. And there's, yeah, or just going to the concert, it's, it's, there's a sing along at the end. Do I get paid? Do I get paid? To sing? No, oh, then I'm out. The concert. No, it's, 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 uh, it's, the the musicians. Get paid. I mean, here's Your the lobster money, money will support a, you. They, you don't need the, to get cor- paid. the chorus the section course. doesn't get paid? No. 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 They're volunteers. Inequality. It's, a Thanksgiving, it's Thanksgiving weekend. I think that it's, we should organize a protest with the chorus people. Wait, it's Thanksgiving weekend. So when you and it's a, a performance, one performance on Saturday, and then two, one Sunday afternoon and one Sunday. Uh, no, it's, it's Saturday, Saturday afternoon, afternoon Sunday, Sunday night, Saturday night, and Sunday afternoon. Yeah. And when you are sick of your family, it's a great way to get out of the house. Send all the people who came for dinner home, and then you take you and the kids. Nice. Is there yeah. booze there? Huh? They sell booze? No. It's no. not a school. No booze? No, but generally <laughs> after the Sunday afternoon performance, we all go to a bar. We have a reception. Uh, I'm going to sneak my own we will, If you want to come Sunday Green instead is. of Saturday evening, Sunday the Patriots are playing, though. But yeah. No, but it's a Patriots game. Yeah, but yeah, we will have a reception happen. after that. Yeah, well, there you go. Maybe I'll come out for that. I don't think we'll have a. So what makes the 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 band people worth more than the chorus people? Band people. They're professionals. They're professional musicians, and oh, the chorus people are just a bunch of hacks. Yeah. Volunteers. Not when they get dressed up. When they get dressed up, they look really good. Really good, and they're all most of them are from Cape Ann. Not all, but a lot of them. Forming a chorus union. It's a. It's a very different. Group. And they only play at our Christmas concert usually. We could collect the dues. Yeah. For the chorus the chorus union. Yeah. 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 So what happens with the chorus is it gives a lot of people on there's so many talented people on Cape Ann who are, you Not know, like sing. Chris who's a lobsterman during the day yeah. and likes Singer to sing and dance at night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's so many talented people. And it gives them an opportunity to perform with the symphony. There's a lot of camaraderie among the chorus and, I love it. And, and, the and so and you get to perform with a professional symphony and so it's you know it's a great outlet for local people on Cape Ann. I think this is a perfect one to introduce people that haven't been to Cape Ann Symphony because it's yep. music that they that they can identify yeah. with. You know what I mean? We're right really off the bat, you're going to recognize yeah. you're going to recognize these, the these music things from the movies. They're amazing. And we really, and if you and haven't if, been, you. It's a great experience. Yuichi's great at explaining the music and mm-hmm. making sure people understand it. He is an amazing uh, talent. Joey, you've not met Yuichi. For, with love. Well, for you don't Yuichi. have him come in here. For some reason, you're keeping him... For, I think it's the same reason that you don't have a Facebook account. Is the reason you're keeping Yuichi out of here. Yes, I'm trying to get Yuichi. My friend. We'll yes. get him here. All right, done. There's some reason. Well, but if All I, right, when do you want to do it? We'll listen, get it here. Joey. Done. You come to a concert. Uh, he's got to bring his flugelhorn so Jim and him can play yeah, the flugelhorn together. He plays, he plays, he plays, no, he plays viola. a viola. Viola. He plays he's got to bring the viola. Viola, flugelhorn, let's make this happen. Yes. <laughs> you tell us when we'll bands. try to get him. Yeah, Battle of the bands. Battle of the bands. But See, who no, can play the, the Good Morning Gloucester theme song yes. better? <laughs> oh. We're challenging you to come on Saturday night. Yeah, oh, and you can meet. You, know. you, know, you can go backstage. We'll right. introduce you to backstage you pass. Joey Shimataro. Yeah, is it this Saturday? Yeah. yeah. No, it's uh, no, the it's 28th. 28th. Joey, I've got uh, two messages here. One's from Steve Reed and one's from Caitlin. Steve okay. Reed. Let's hear. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hear it. Yeah, let's hear it. Sure. It says, "Please stop picking your teeth. Joseph. Stop picking your teeth. 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 Stop picking your <laughs> I think this is a this is a this is this is a behind the scenes. Yeah. They te- they're they're yeah. teaming up on me you right call, now. Well, you called for it. it, and also it says fifteen percent uh, tower. And Caitlin just says McCarthy, why are you wearing bright red boxer shorts? Well, I'm I'm glad you asked. <laughs> so I went to Nordstrom Rack yesterday, and I bought Tommy John. These are Tommy John underwear. Very good. Yeah, especially. I haven't tried them. Now I know they, why they were at says, Nordstrom Rack. 
because they go down to your freaking <laughs> knee. So my these underwear are either long or these shorts are short. One or the other. Yeah. It's a little so awkward. Look at that. It's a little dist- it's, it's distracting. It I didn't realize it until I got out of the car. And today, the other message around. that just popped up says we have 15% of power left. Oh, okay. All right, <laughs> okay. we got to wrap so, up. <laughs> no, I'm doing my job here. I want to talk more about students. my underwear. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I sing in these. This, this is why I get up there. That's how he gets the high octaves. <laughs> there it is. There it is. All right. Let me shut this thing down. All right, for Gloucester Cats, what number are we at, Jimmy? 357. Thank you guys for coming. 400 coming up. Thank you, Let's eat.